Hey, what's up you guys? Installing a base plate on your Fiat 500 will allow you to tow your vehicle behind an RV for your next trip. Now this can be a difficult install. It may take you several hours to complete, but we're gonna guide you through it. Let's go ahead and break it down. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Our base plate is going to be installed behind our front bumper fascia, so we're gonna to need to remove this to start. So we went ahead and opened up our hood to remove these four screws using a T30 Torx screw bit. Now in the wheel well, we're gonna remove three screws using a Phillips bit or Phillips screwdriver. And then we'll repeat on the driver's side. Now on the bottom of our bumper fascia, right on the end, right by the wheel well, we have one screw that we're gonna remove using a Phillips bit or Phillips screwdriver. And then we'll repeat that on the driver's side. Now in the middle of our front bumper fascia, there's three screws that we'll be removing using a T30 Torx screw bit. Now that we have those three screws out on our wheel well, we're gonna pull back on that liner on the inside. And it's gonna expose a gray screw right up here on the top. We're gonna to remove that using a T30 Torx screw bit. So it's kind of hard to see, but it's right here at the end of our front bumper fascia. And then we'll repeat that on the driver's side. Now with all of our screws out, we're ready to remove our bumper fascia. We're gonna start on the top right here on the passenger side. We're just gonna pull lightly on the corner now, if one of your tabs gets stuck on your fascia, like ours is next to our headlight, we'll take a trim panel removal tool and we're just gonna push down on the tab inside and that will allow us to release it. Now we're gonna pull out on our front passenger side fascia and we're going to remove these two wiring harnesses. To remove this marker tail light harness, we're gonna push on the tab at the bottom and just pull back. To remove our headlight harness, we're gonna push on the tab right here on the side and pull it out. And we'll repeat on the driver's side. With our harnesses and tabs disconnected, we're gonna to go to the center of our front bumper fascia, and we're just gonna remove it. And we're gonna set it aside. Next, we're gonna remove our air deflector. It's held in by two screws on the driver's side, and there's one screw on the passenger side. And we'll be using an eight millimeter socket to remove those. Next, we're gonna remove both of our bumper horn brackets. They're held in by four bolts, two on top, two on bottom, and we're gonna remove them using a 14 millimeter socket. And then we're just gonna pull back on our bracket and we're gonna set that aside. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're ready to bring our base plate into place. It's going to attach on our four holes where each of our brackets were attached. And we're gonna use our existing factory bolts. We're just going to line it up and we're gonna put one bolt on each side to hold it into place. Now we're gonna put all of our remaining bolts in on both sides. And repeat on the passenger side. We're now gonna to torque all of our bolts to our manufacturer's specification, and we'll be using a 14 millimeter socket. Now on the side of our base plate, we're gonna drill out two holes to bring in some additional hardware. Now we're gonna use a 3 8 drill bit to drill that out. And we're just gonna make sure our hardware fits and then we'll drill our second hole. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now for our drilled holes, we're gonna put a bolt and lock washer in there and on the other side, we're going to take a flange nut with a wire welded onto it. 
and we're just gonna line it up and we're gonna bring it behind our bracket right here. And we're gonna line it up with our hole. Then we're gonna take our bolt and we're gonna bring it through. And while holding the flange nut in place, we'll take our bolt and screw it in. And then we'll repeat on our top hole. Now with our side bolts in place, we're gonna torque them to the manufacturer's specification. And we'll be using a 14 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're gonna trim up these wires using some shears or some wire cutters. We're just gonna go as high as we can. Now we'll take the rest of our wires and we're just gonna push it down behind the rest of our bracket. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're going to install our permanent safety cable for our base plate. Now our instructions recommend that we go around the side of the frame right here. So we're gonna take our cable and we're gonna loop one side around the back until it drops down here. And our other one we're gonna drop right behind our base plate. Now we have our convenience link here on our base plate where we'll take our provided quick link and we'll put it around the convenience link. Then we'll take our two loops on our safety cable and we'll put it into the quick link and we'll repeat on the driver's side. And now that those are in, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Now to get it tightened all the way, we're just gonna take an adjustable wrench and get it till it's nice and secure. Now we're gonna take our front fascia and we're gonna line it up as best as we can. Now we're gonna mark on our fascia where our base plate interferes so we can trim this out. Now that we have marked down where our tabs were interfering with our fascia, we're gonna go ahead and trim it up. All right, now we're gonna take our front fascia and we're gonna reattach it and make sure that our tabs line up. And they do. So now we can go ahead and mark our other holes right here on the front and down here on the bottom where our carabiners are. So we went ahead and marked out the rest of our front fascia to allow the rest of our base plate to come through. Next, we're gonna trim the bottom of our fascia. We've already marked it off, and we'll be using an air saw to cut that out. and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now that we have everything trimmed and in place, we're ready to reinstall our front fascia. All right, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.